Hello YouTube, this is Kaido Oyama. I'm over here at my friend Dykes Rebar's wonderful muzzle loading shop in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And Dykes has displayed some of his artwork over here today. I'm going to show you that right now. And these. Hello Dykes, thank you. Hey, oh, my pleasure. Well, you work. Pleasure. Dykes uh, repaired uh, and uh, rather corrected. The walkers and he put the 1860 loading lever latches on there and a wonderful job just wonderful superbly done cylinder was deepened on my Remington Santa Barbara and these are his works of art it is beautiful the pocket pistol here is 50 caliber and you take a look at that price that's better than anything Petrozoli can offer and it's handmade right here in the United States by a master artisan $350 he also has his initials in there. That's my maker's mark cartoon. Sure. Oh, there you go. Yes, sir. And he has this one here, this flintlock. Beautiful gun, Mark. You just $450. This this is highly recommended. His shop is, is just a wonderful place to come to. This Kentucky pistol here, flintlock, a left... Uh, left-handed uh, gun and 50 caliber but he can also custom make uh, to what uh, what caliber do you do in a rifle barrel well as a matter of fact I have a fellow well this was a smooth board but anyway this is a left hand dragoon style pistol oh. 62 okay you made a 62 and this this here is a picture of, of uh, you presenting to the late Charlton Heston yep, a uh, pistol to, built him a pistol uh, 13 years ago boy it's time to fly yep yeah, I remember when I came in 2006, I bought one similar to that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful gun, like its brother. Beautiful. I'm afraid to shoot it. It's uh, <laughs> it's all fine. That's what they're, they're made to be shot. Yes, they Enjoy. are. Yeah, this is a real good job. I'm I'm really happy with uh, the uh, the walkers uh, done like this, and uh, this is just uh, what a wonderful. This it's worthwhile to make a trip out here to North Little Rock. Just to visit the shop and and meet Dykes, he's a wonderful person, and I'm quickly gonna show everyone here your fine wares. We have the rifles here, the long arms. This is his holding station for different items and pictures with the Civil War anniversary. Uh, nice alarm clock, there you go. And we have all tied down. These are interesting over here. These short. Uh, Top musket uh, <coughs> guns. Those historically are what they call blanket guns. A blanket gun, that's right. They, those are sort of presentation grade ones that we built here in house, but uh, originally they usually took either tray guns or military muskets and cut them down and cannibalized them for parts. Interesting. And they got the nickname blanket gun because the fellows who were out either blazing trails, map making, or scouting a lot of times carried them rolled up in their bedroll in the daytime and then they slept with them at night loaded with shot be it for two legged or four legged varmints that might mm -hmm. slip and them in the dark. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. They look uh, and of uh, course they were usually done in calibers that were comparable to uh, trade guns or muskets mm -hmm. or whatever the one on the bottom is replicated as taking off of a French style trade gun which is a 62 caliber 20 gauge. Mm -hmm. One on top is a big bore. It's kind of taken off of a brown vest. Okay, that's uh, that's wonderful. So what the what the what are the prices of them? I ask. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're 475 a piece. Very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna have to get one of them. And I see you have my you have my Kaido bullets over here I've been to display. Oh yeah, yeah, I have them right there for handy show and tell. There, there you go, sir. Yup, yup, and uh, all these wonderful nipple wrenches, they look very well made. Nipple wrenches and... Both the usable ones and the historically correct ones, whichever you might need. There you go, solvents, polystol. That's some good stuff. Oh, yes. Yup, yup, uh, different... These are very extensive here in the shop. Yup, yup, all types of flasks and spouts and powder horns and... Thing. And now the display case here, going back to it, you have a uh, real nice, uh, another few pistols in there, going down, some pulls, and going into this display case you have revolvers. Right, percussion. these are all factory guns. These are all the factory uh, 
percussion uh, Uberdis, Pietas, and uh, including some of the pistols here too are factory. They're all, all of these are factory guns. They're all factory. And, uh, right. We have the Pieta, Uberti, Traditions, and uh, Loyalist. Oh, Loyalist, okay. Who makes them? Uh, they're out in Nova Scotia. Oh, yes, I know Loyalist. Yes, they send me emails now to, to think. Uh, what, what's your opinion of the Pieta uh, and Uberti revolvers? Your, Uberti, your Ubertis are absolute perfect clone copies of the originals. All the Remingtons or Colts or whichever that I can use their parts for storing original antiques. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Pietas are cosmetically correct, but the uh, screws, for example, will be metric and the internal parts are unique unto them. Hmm. Whereas, like say, the Birdie is an absolute perfect copy of whatever the mm -hmm. original style gun was that they're, mm -hmm. they're reproducing. Good quality. Well made. Very good. I know you said you did meet Mr. Uberti at one time as well. I uh, had the pleasure, did get to meet him once upon a time. That's something, and you know the story you told me about the uh, your experience with Pieta when they came out with a, uh, a more like a 488, but a 50 caliber Dragoon, third model Dragoon experimental. That's very interesting. They made a, yes, they made a, a prototype many many years ago that was to be compatible to a 50 caliber muzzleloader. Mm -hmm. And it was like you say, it was a basically all of a third model Dragoon, but it was bored and geared to use a 490 ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a shame that uh, they didn't take off with that. But um, I've, you know, what I've thought of too, uh, and I really don't see you need it after where my bullet put down that uh, wild boar, uh, is to take one of these uh, Uberti um, walkers and bore it out to. Uh, that to like a four a uh, eight eight or a four ninety ball or bullet size. Well, with your, with your, with your yeah. conical, you're getting you know the weight and mass of what the round yeah. ball you know that size would have been anyway. Sure, yeah, I, I don't see that. But um, these holsters here are very interesting that you have. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, yes, they're made by a veteran. I understand a disabled oh, veteran yeah. locally, and uh, these are really fine. I mean, look, eighteen dollars for a Fine made leather holster in one, and then you all, all, all finished. oil finished. You have them in flap as well for 24. Military style, huh? Military style 24, and then you had I saw here. Uh, this really is nice. This Walker uh, holster for 32 dollars. You can't beat these prices. This is wonderful. You have really wide leather belts like uh, Trapper type. Uh, really nice leather belts here. Uh, and then the, more of the trouser or shorter, one and three quarter inch wide belts, T handles, uh, wonderful. Does he also make these pouches here? The, uh, no, there's a couple in uh, Pennsylvania makes those. He oh. does all the leather work out of belly panels of elk and his wife hand weaves and jute straps. Beautiful, beautiful. He also does the uh, slings for us too. Oh, okay. The slings, yes, you have all types of slings here, pistol frogs and... Uh, the uh, woven wool sashes. Uh, mm -hmm. the really? Okay. See, we all have little side gigs, we call them. But this is uh, wonderful. Uh, these holsters, all the accessory. Ah, you have here gun socks as well uh, in your store name. And uh, that's very nice. Some of these and some new stuff. Uncle Mike's, I use the new stuff. And. Can infuse and this new uh, Presto Mag uh, Blue is supposed to be now. I understand you said uh, the strongest of the Birchwood Casey Cold Blues. Well, for your Cold Blues and Touch Up Blues, it's probably one of the fastest on the market. It's better than their uh, the other two that they had, the Perma Blue, etc. That's, that's really what you might consider a professional grade. Okay, I'm going to get some of that too. It's some good stuff to know here, but it's it's a pleasure to be here in your wonderful shop. Okay. And thank well, you. It's always good to get to visit with you. That's it. That's right. So I would say that it's worthwhile to come out to uh, North Little Rock. You'll be surprised and to visit Dykes Rubber and his wonderful muzzle loading shop. Thank you. And uh, okay. thank you, well, Dykes. Hey, thank you, man. Yep. I just hope you, yeah. hope you enjoy that stuff. And it works that's right. Much. That's right. Mr. Dykes Rebar right here. Thank you.